Hi everybody, welcome to my quick start guide to get streaming with the Mevo Start. So this is an awesome little camera, and if it's your first time streaming, this video is for you. And remember, there will be more advanced tutorials coming out about this camera, so make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell to know when those come out. When first taking this out of the box, I highly recommend charging the battery to its fullest before turning it on, which I'm gonna do right now. Now while that's happening, make sure that you download the Mevo 2.0 app. All right, let's go ahead and search for Mevo. I already downloaded it, but that's where you find it. Go for Mevo 2.0. It's the freshest and newest one. First things first, go ahead and open the Mevo app here. The Mevo app is gonna detect your Mevo and give it a little default name over here. I have to configure my phone to make sure that the Wi-Fi network is the Mevo. It automatically could join for you, actually. All right, now we are connected. Mevo constantly releases firmware, so I highly recommend that you just go ahead and update it. That's gonna take a few minutes in order for it to update and restart, so let's give it a little while. Okay, once that's done updating, go ahead and reconnect to that Wi-Fi network. And booyah, you're connected to Mevo and ready to get configuring. So now you wanna set up the Mevo to be on the right Wi-Fi network to stream to. That is unless you're connected through Ethernet. So let's go ahead and hit those three dots right here and then hit on that gear right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and tap network, which is right here. Tap on disconnect to change Mevo's Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and tap configure Mevo. As you can see here, a list of Wi-Fi networks shows up here. Enter your Wi-Fi password, wait for it to switch connections, and then your Mevo will then be connected directly to your Wi-Fi network. Let's go ahead and hit done and hit connect and you are ready to stream on your Wi-Fi. But hold up, you need to choose which platform you are going to. So let's start our first stream on Facebook. So what you wanna do is go ahead and tap that red button, and you're gonna see an array of supported platforms. Now we're gonna start with Facebook. We're gonna to have to hit the Facebook icon, and it's gonna say that it needs to sign in. I've signed into Mevo before, so I don't have to give it allowance and stuff like that, but you will, it's a quick button, click allow. And for me, it's just hit continue. And now it's logged into Facebook. This is assuming that you're already logged in on your phone. You can see that my personal profile's already here. The pages that I manage are already here, automatically loaded with a nice icon, really cool, as well as groups in which I am admin of. We'll go into that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and first, tap on my personal profile and hit configure. There are just a few options to take a look at. There's post description, privacy, allow embedding, and continuous streaming. Embedding allows people to copy and paste a link and an embed code to go into a website or any other platform. Continuous streaming is for if you have a very long live stream uh, and will be occasionally interrupted, but it doesn't save at the end, I guess, Facebook doesn't wanna save all that. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at this. I'm gonna say test, test, yay. And then let's take a look at the privacy settings. So we have public, friends, and only me. It doesn't get super specific. I'm gonna go ahead and just tap only me because I don't wanna go crazy on my Facebook. And then here we are, we are ready to either go live or adjust these other settings over here. The actual max, uh, streaming resolution on Facebook is 720, even if you choose 1080p, so keep that in mind. You could choose to disable chat or enable it in order to talk with your viewers. Let's go ahead and go live and take a look at the results. It's gonna show a red outline around your image over there, and that's gonna twirl until it is online. We are live. Now to see more stats about your live stream, go ahead and tap this little bar right here. Not the red button though. It looks like my battery is 0% for some reason, probably a glitch. But anyway, you also see that's 3.4 megabits per second and how long I've been running. You could choose one of these three to be at the forefront when it collapses back down. I'm gonna choose battery life, which is showing 0% as a glitch. Uh, I could choose the Wi-Fi speed. I'm going up at 3.4 megabits per second at 720p. And then, or I could choose the runtime of my stream. Let's go ahead and hop onto Facebook and see what this actually looks like. And there I am, streaming live right now. Woot woot, woot woot woot. Now note that there is a bit of a delay in order to get it through your camera, into the Wi-Fi, onto the interwebs, through Facebook, and then live. All right, let's go ahead and stop this in and look at our other options in Facebook. When you're done with your stream, you could choose to keep it in your Facebook feed or to delete it or to save it to your Mevo SD card or to delete it. All right, let's go ahead and hit that red button again and click on Facebook. 
and then choose something else to do here, which is stream to a page. Now go ahead and tap that page and then hit configure. By default, it's gonna be a public event. So if you don't want it to be public and be private, well, don't post it to a page. Now there is audience targeting, which is the main difference. And you could choose a minimum age as well as a particular location to stream to and give my stream a name. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap save. I'm gonna keep it at 720p and we're gonna go ahead and go live. And as you can see right here that I am now live streaming onto my Onyx Cinema Facebook page. Pretty awesome. Oh my God, look at that. How awesome is that? It is uh, doing subtitles right now. Let's see if I could confuse it. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> Super SSID <laughs> DOS. Okay, let's go ahead and stop that. Slide to stop. And then let's go ahead and stream to a group. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stream to a really old group over here of mine. When I first tap it, it's gonna give me a warning that it needs to have an installed Mevo application in the group. So first of all, you need to be an admin of the group. And second of all, you need to go onto the Facebook website and install the app into your group. Let me show you how to do that. All right, let's go ahead and go to my group over here. I'm gonna click on the more button over here. Go over to edit group settings. Within the settings, you have to scroll slowly until you see this hidden little section called apps. Let's go ahead and add apps. Give it a second, it'll, it'll do it, it'll work. I think it'll work. Ah, there it is, okay. Go ahead and type in Mevo. Okay, and then hit Mevo camera here. And then it's gonna be kind of like an app store. It goes like, ah, oh, we're so and so, and then I just add. You've added Mevo camera and can be now used in your group War of the Wolves film. Let's click done. Back in the app, let's go ahead and tap on War of the Wolves film again. And now you get the check mark, which is awesome. And then go ahead and hit configure. This is extremely simple going to a group. No privacy settings, no audience targeting settings. It just goes straight to your group and to its members. Hello. Go ahead and hit save and go ahead and go live. And here we are, ready to share everything that's in our minds to our group. All right, so next up is setting up to stream to YouTube. Now remember, you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers in order to go live streaming, so newbies can't really do this. But if you already have 1,000, let's get to town. Now let's go ahead and hit that YouTube icon and sign in. I'm gonna choose my Onyx Cinema YouTube account over here. All right. Okay, so you can see here that you can create a new event or stream to any pre-scheduled event that you have set up. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose stream now and keep that actually unlisted. Let's go ahead and hit configure. Mevo's, I'm gonna keep it unlisted. You can choose public, unlisted, or private. I'm gonna go ahead and choose 1080p because YouTube is awesome. It could go up to 4K in streaming, but this is not a 4K camera. Let's go ahead and hit live. All right, and voila, there we are. We are live on YouTube. It's simple as that. I, I love how Mevo makes it super easy in order to stream to a platform of your choice. So for the Periscopers out there, this is for you. Let's go right in. After pressing the red button, go ahead and hit that Periscope button. And then we got to sign in. I use Facebook, so here we go. We have to give it authorization. When you hit configure, there's really only one choice. I click save. So when you try to turn on chat, meh, nope, chat's not available. And in your resolution settings are only 720p. Interesting. Let's go ahead and go live. And voila, I'm on Periscope. It is cool, isn't it? Uh, who is on Periscope these days? I don't know. Let's, let's move on to Twitch. Tap the nice red button and then go ahead and tap that Twitch icon right there. You know the Twitch icon, right? Okay, and then we gotta go ahead and log in. I am the village camera nerd. Woot woot. Let's go ahead and authorize. And I'm gonna choose the resolution. Let's go ahead and go 1080p. Twitch has pretty good quality options. So apparently you can't get chat notifications through the Mevo app, which is a, a little weird, but hopefully they add that feature later. Now, as soon as I go live over here, you're gonna find a little issue because I'm actually also streaming to Twitch with this very stream that you're looking at right now. So, mer, bummer, I can't show it to you right now. Okay, a new feature of LinkedIn is live streaming. Now, the thing is, in order to live stream to LinkedIn, you have to apply before you actually stream. But if you've already applied and are approved, then this is for you. Let's go ahead and tap on LinkedIn. Let's stream to our personal page. And there is my profile. Okay, let's go ahead and configure that. There's really only two things to do here. Hello, test. 
hit save. Now, because I haven't actually applied for this program yet, uh, when I hit go live, it's gonna give me this. LinkedIn Live is not enabled on your account. To gain access, please click the apply button below. And it is quite an application. I am not really interested in doing that right now. I mean, I'll, I'll eventually do it. It's just like, Ay. See, easy peasy in order to get online right away with the Mevo Start. Now we're gonna dig deeper into more advanced settings and subsequent tutorials. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know when those come out. See you guys next time. And this is when I have like 20 seconds for those little icons around my face. So you can click on that subscribe globe right here.